places inspired by love in Spanish speaking countries. India has the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world and a symbol of eternal love. But of course, India is not the only country to have a monument or place that was inspired by love. Various Spanish speaking countries also have their own love related hotspots. This article explores what some of these are. El Callejón del Beso in Mexico. It literally means the alley of the kiss and is a place where the walls and balconies of the houses are less than one meter apart. Despite the tragic love story behind this place, it has become a popular destination among couples. Legend has it that the daughter of a strict Spaniard fell in love with a poor minor. The couple would meet in secret to avoid being caught by the woman's father. As time passed, the young man decided to move to the house next to hers as it had a balcony close in proximity to her room. One day, her father entered her room and caught them kissing. Unable to accept his daughter's affair, he struck his daughter's chest with a dagger, killing her. Some think that the young man tried to jump from his balcony into her room to save her but fell down and landed on the third step of the staircase in the alley and died. Others say that the pain from losing his lover led him to suicide. Today, El Callejón del Beso is a famous tourist attraction. It is an alley that is 66 inches wide. Couples proudly stand on the third step painted in red and kiss for eternal luck in love. Park of Love in Peru At the heart of the park is El Beso or the Kiss, a sculpture of a couple sharing a kiss. It was created by the Peruvian artist Victor Delfin and interestingly, it depicts his wife and himself sharing a passionate moment. The park was inaugurated on Valentine's Day in 1993 and each year on this day, a competition of the longest kiss is held. At night, the monument is lit up and couples can be found sitting in the surrounding benches. Besides the statue, another captivating aspect of the park is that its elevated location allows for a breathtaking view of the Pacific Ocean. The lovey-dovey ambience is further intensified by mosaics adorned with romantic phrases. You are above the infinite sea. Love is just a bird that wanders. Are a few of the phrases featured on the walls. This is a wonderful place to go on a stroll, watch the sunset and enjoy ice cream from the park vendors. El Ala Monument dedicated to Mariam Stafford in Argentina. If you were to travel on the highway of Route 5 between Cordoba and Alta Gracia, you would notice El Ala, the wing, a wing shaped mausoleum dedicated to actress and aviator Mariam Stafford, who died in a plane crash. It was built on orders of her husband, Raul Baron Bisa, an Argentinian writer. The monument measures 82 meters in height and is built on a 15 meter tall platform. Around 100 laborers were employed and its construction was completed in 1935, making it one of the tallest monuments in Argentina. It is believed that Miriam was buried 6 meters underground with her jewels, including a 45 carat diamond. Her remains are protected by a thick layer of cement and an explosive device that would blow up in case intruders try to tamper with her tomb. Cursed be anyone who dares to desecrate the tomb, reads the entrance to the mausoleum. Sentados Frente al Mar in Chile Sentados Frente al Mar or Mil Besos Yo Le Di these are the opening lyrics of the 60 superhead love song Puerto Mont by Uruguayan band Los Iracundos. 
The lyrics translate to sitting in front of the sea or a thousand kisses I gave her. These were the words that inspired Robinson Barria to sculpt an embracing couple sitting in front of the sea. The sculpture was named Sentatus Frente al Mar and is located in Puerto Montt City, which coincides with the song's name. The man and women in the sculpture are dressed in simple clothing and hold a facial expression that is difficult to discern. It is not very pretty but is emblematic, opines its creator. Russian news agency Sputnik featured Sentados from the Almar as one of the rarest monuments of South America. The statue was inaugurated in 2002 and has become a popular tourist attraction in the city. Guitar Forest in Argentina How far would you go to honor a deceased loved one? Argentinian farmer Pedro Martin Oreta planted a guitar forest in memory of his wife, Garciela Yarizos. Why a guitar? Because one day, as Garciela flew on an aeroplane, she noticed a farm that, according to her, resembled a milking pail. She told her husband they should make a better farm and suggested it should look like a guitar as she was fond of the instrument. Few years after suddenly losing his 25-year-old wife to a brain aneurysm, Pedro decided he wanted to bring Garciela's vision to life. With the help of his children, he went on to plant more than 7,000 cypresses and eucalyptus trees in the shape of a guitar so big that it could be seen from a plane. Sadly, Pedro's flight phobia has not allowed him to view his masterpiece from air, so he has only seen it in photographs.